Hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are sewing chaos. Anyway, um, as the title of the video from today says, um, I'm doing something that I might regret, which is dyeing a $300 Selkie dress. If you guys don't know what a Selkie dress is, I'll throw up the listing from their website, like right here somewhere. Um, this particular one, very popular. Everybody knows the puff dress. It's like $300 with shipping. Um, I'll show you. This is said dress. I wore this to my wedding. Um, this is my reception dress. It's just too see-through. I don't really, like I, I, I got this second hand for like $100. I did not pay full price for this dress. Don't catch me paying full price for dresses like this. It's really pretty. I did spill wine on it somewhere. I remember spilling wine on it somewhere. Um, God forbid I can find that right now. I was really drunk. It was my wedding, duh. So we're gonna dye this, but I realized that dyeing organza and like uh, not organic, like inorganic fabric like this might not be the greatest idea. So I have a couple things that we're gonna try and dye first. She is hardcore looking at me while she's doing her laundry. Hey girl. <laughs> Just cause I have a couple white things that, and if you're like me, white things don't stay white even if you bleach them. I don't know what the freak it is. I just can't do it. Uh, so first of all, we have a pair of socks that we're just gonna test. I know it's not the same material, um, but I have tons of white socks and I wanna dye this pair pink. So we're dyeing everything pink today. I don't know if I said that already. We're dyeing it all pink. Uh, and the second thing that I have is another kind of dress, but like way too short to wear as a dress unless you wear like biker shorts under it. Another one. Um, which I'll throw up a picture of me wearing this as well. This is not as see-through. You can see my tattoos through the sleeves, um, but the material I think is probably the closest thing I'm gonna get to the Selkie dress. So we're gonna try and dye these first and see how it goes. Uh, I'll just run y'all to my kitchen. Okay, sorry for the bad lighting. This is what we're working with today. Uh, the All of my lighting is from this window over here. Uh, and also, if you're not familiar to the channel, if this is your first time here, hi, welcome. Um, I'm 27 weeks pregnant. That is why I look like this right now. We don't gotta talk about it. But um, I already have my pot ready to go. I realized that the Selkie dress is a little bit big for my pot. Uh, so I did buy, and this might be also a really fucking stupid idea considering I have to have really hot water. I bought this big tub specifically made for making kimchi here in Korea. And I'm just gonna pour the hot water in this. So we're gonna fuss around and find out. I'm gonna start this. The first thing we're gonna do is dye the other two things. I'm also really out of breath. Uh, like I said, 27 weeks pregnant, don't question me. Uh, but this is the color we're going with. I'm going to try to dilute the fuchsia as best as possible because I want more of a... Oh, we are out of breath today. Um, not super bright, but also not pastel. I kind of want just less of a in-your-face kind of pink. So that's what we're going to try to do today. But this one smart thing I am going to do is put on an apron because I am nothing if not an absolute genius. Contrary to literally everything I just said. I'm not getting pink dye on my... Well, thank you very much. Hi, Tulin. Uh, I'm not getting pink dye on my really expensive Nintendo Japan Zelda shirt. So, here we are. Also, yes, I probably should have bought, like, the writ dye that is specifically for, like, something like Organza, uh, but it's, it's not easy to find the different kinds of writ dye here in Korea. I had to buy this online. So, this is what we're working with today. Also, sorry if you hear the overhead. Uh, it's an eye irritant, so I will also be opening up the window. I'm pregnant, I'm not taking these risks. Uh, the bottle says nothing about not using it while pregnant, so slay. It's just, it could cause irritation to the eyes, so we're, we're, we're dealing with that. 
uh, the water's going, and I will see you soon. Okay, so, uh, tested the temperature of the water. It's around 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what the bottle recommends. So I'm just going to start pouring and praying. I realize you guys might want to see this part. Oh my god! Perks of living in an Asian household, there's just chopsticks everywhere, so... Slay! Do we want it to be more pink? Don't give yourself a splinter. Hell yeah. So the socks don't actually look that bad. I'm gonna try the dress. You're supposed to do, you're supposed to leave it in there for 30 minutes. Eee, I'm really scared. Dip dye. Yoink. Oh, that's kind of nice, kind of nice, kind of nice. Okay, 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 okay. Let it soak. Soak in there, baby! Ooh. Okay, since the window's open, I'm just gonna turn that off. That's gonna be so pretty. Holy crap. Okay, I did it. It's in there. I'm supposed to leave it in here for 30 minutes, so I'm gonna stir it and have some lunch and we'll come back. Okay, it's done. It's been in there for more than 30 minutes because I got distracted by a Facebook post that went viral in my hometown. Honestly, the dress didn't turn out as bad as I thought it would, considering it's like a synthetic uh, fabric. But the socks are a little bit patchy, I'm assuming because I have bleached these before. The bottle does say if you bleach something that it might not uh, turn out this, the same because of like bleach stains. But I still think they're pretty cute. That's not bad. That is way more pink than I thought it would be, um, to be fair. But... I'm not mad at this. I'm gonna go toss these in the washer, um, start a new pot, and we'll come back when it's time for the selkie dress. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this water in this thing, pray to every single god and goddess that exists that I don't burn myself. And just because I'm lazy, I boil more water in my kettle. I think I'm gonna need to boil more water. Okay. Is there? <laughs> I should probably use something that's more substantial than a chopstick, but this is, I'm not sticking any of my actual cooking tools in here. This is not worth it. And I will be back as soon as it's time to put the dress in. We'll see how it goes. Okay, all the water is in here. I'm gonna try to give you guys a good angle of what it's how we about how we're about to do this. The lighting is absolute crap because you're in my cabinet, but here we go. <laughs> The moment you've all been waiting for. Hey, did you guys know I'm a fucking idiot?
Now we let it marinate. <laughs> Honestly, this looks a lot better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be a way darker, brighter pink, but I do realize that when the fabric is wet, it looks a lot darker than it's going to be when it's dry. Um, sorry, I just ran outside to go give a girl some books because I'm nesting and getting rid of a bunch of stuff in my house. <laughs> so I'm going to throw this in the washer and I will be back whenever everything is dry. So honestly, that's probably going to be tomorrow. <laughs> Just as a bit of added context here, uh, Korea doesn't typically have like dryers the way like the West and some other countries probably actually have dryers. Uh, so it's going to take a while for my stuff to dry, uh, but I will show you the other stuff came out of the washer. I did not wash it with any detergent or anything. Um, doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Honestly, the socks are way pinker than I thought they would be. But that's my fault for putting too much dye. So I still need to hang them up to dry, but here are the socks. Obviously, these definitely had bleach stains. So they are not all one color. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's just socks. These were my test run. Um, but I'm actually really, really, really happy with how the like shirt dress turned out. Um, I will take a better look at it when it's like fully dry, but that's not bad. That's really cute. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. No more to say for myself. Are you upset, Spokane? Hi, it is the next day, um, and everything is finally done drying, so we can talk about it. Uh, my son, he, he asked to be held, and then, you know, starts with the violence. Anyway, might as well just get right to it. Uh, everything turned out pretty good, besides the <laughs> horrible armpit thing that you saw previously but I'll go ahead and show you guys again the like t-shirt dress type deal here dried really really pretty I actually think that I like this color uh, in general better than what happened to the selkie dress back here um, besides that um, I did read on the bottle that the dye will attach itself to any stains. Uh, not that I knew that there were stains, because this was white. Um, but here we are, with pink armpits now. And you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I still think that it looks nice. Are you ever actually gonna- who's- why are you looking at my armpits then? The socks actually still turned out pretty nice. Um, they almost have like a tie-dye effect to them. Looks like I did it on purpose, kind of. <laughs> uh, but I really actually ended up liking these. I'm happy because I don't have any pink socks. I got rid of my last pair of pink socks because I had had them for like a really, really long time. So here we are. Next up, the piece de resistance. I feel like I should try it on for you guys. Um, just as a, what it actually looks like. But being pregnant, I'm not sure how it will look, so this is a disclaimer. If the dress doesn't look good, one, I'm pregnant as hell, two, um, the lighting isn't great because it's still really gloomy here in Korea. Um, I'm also, I'm not doing my makeup or anything, I can't, I really can't be bothered. Um, it's a holiday this weekend here in Korea, it's tech, well, technically Chuseok isn't until, like, Tuesday, um, but it's like the weekend. It's when everybody's doing their holiday stuff. I'm too busy. I'm not gonna do like a whole big thing. I really just wanted to dye this dress, see how it turned out, and show you guys as 
maybe mild clickbait because it's a selkie dress, duh. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and put the dress on. Okay, here we are. I will say, I do. I had to put on um, the like one bandeau that I do know actually still fits me right now. Um, because when you're pregnant, everything gets a little bit bigger, you know what I mean? Um, so this is it. It honestly turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I will say again that the dye did attach itself to some stains um, that are over here, which I believe would be the wine that I kind of spilled on myself. Um, the lighting, I know, just isn't great. I don't have any artificial lighting besides the big light. And I don't like the big light, but this is what we're having to work with today. Um, I am actually pretty happy with it. I think it looks cute, even while I'm pregnant. Um, I did put on the socks as well. Ignore everything in the background. Um, I'm really happy with it, honestly. It's much cuter than I, I anticipated. Um, I think it's a different pink than the pink puff dress on their website as well. I think the pink puff dress might be a bit darker than this. Unless it is the same color, I could just very well be wrong. Um, but I'm very happy. The tag also dyed, and honestly, I'm really happy that the tag also obviously dyed pink. Um, Cause the back I think is the most see-through part to me, but yeah. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It looks really nice. I'm excited. Like, I feel like I would actually wear this out in public in springtime and stuff now, so. Um, it's also giving, like, Nutcracker Princess. I don't know, wintertime. I think it's cute. Don't you dare touch that camera. But yeah, this is it. Uh, it turned out, honestly, so cute. I really like it. I will try, I can try and show you guys some of the stains and stuff. Um, you can see, yeah. I don't know how well that you could actually see that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I know this isn't like my usual content, but to be honest with being pregnant and everything, streaming is really, really burning me out. So I'm trying to kind of switch over to these weekly videos uh, just because I feel like I have more time to edit these throughout the week, obviously, except now because I am also have pregnancy brain and don't remember things as well. <laughs> uh, but I feel like I have more time throughout the week to edit these than uh, deal with streams and stuff like that on the daily. So that's probably what you'll be seeing from me a little bit more than before is these, these videos coming back weekly. So. Thank you for sticking around. I really appreciate it. And if you guys haven't already liked and subscribed, uh, go ahead and do it now. <laughs> I really, really appreciate you guys, and I hope you're taking care of yourselves. Don't forget to drink a bunch of water, eat three meals a day, eight hours of sleep, and love yourselves. Or else. It's a threat. And a promise. Um, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Thank you very much. I love you. I hope you liked this. Bye.